to the scandal involving the community organizing group known as ACORN. Over the years, it has received tens of millions of dollars in federal housing money, but now hidden camera videos have led to the U.S. Senate voting to cut off funds to the group. NBC's senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers has details. Lisa, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. ACORN has long been a target of conservatives who've claimed for years that the group engages in shady practices. Now, these videos have provided critics with new ammunition and stirred enough controversy that even ACORN's friends are keeping their distance. We're looking out for you. The seemingly damning hidden camera videos involve ACORN workers in four cities, the most recent one from San Bernardino, California. I have some experience I'm sorry. In, in, in how not to get caught. A conservative independent filmmaker and a friend poses a pimp and prostitute and are advised by ACORN workers how to evade the IRS. Honest, you not going to get you to the house. Yeah. Even how to handle an underage prostitution ring. What if they're making money because they're performing they're tricks nobody. too? If they're making money and they're underage, you shouldn't be letting nobody know anyway. <laughs> ACORN says all employees involved have been fired or suspended, except the ACORN worker in the California video who says she was just playing along. You can mold this into anything you want. But conservatives are having a field day. Uh, I think it shows they're willing to commit fraud and encourage fraud. The Census Bureau has severed all ties with ACORN. Senators voting in the affirmative. And the Senate, controlled by Democrats, voted overwhelmingly, 83 to 7 on Monday night, to cut off any further housing grants to ACORN. I would suggest, obviously, this is a pattern of very rotten behavior. By one estimate, ACORN has received $53 million in federal money since 1994. ACORN CEO says this is a smear campaign and that some of the videos have been doctored. She threatens to sue the filmmaker and conservative media, which has extensively aired the videos. We are not going to take this lying down. Uh, we believe that, in fact, we know that this was a form of entrapment. And yes, we're going to go after this videographer and Fox. ACORN, which says it delivered more than a million votes in the last election, also claims it's being attacked as a way to hurt President Obama. Now, political analysts say this is largely driven by conservatives' long-standing distaste for ACORN, but that President Obama's history as a community organizer is one reason this story is getting so much play, Meredith. All right, Lisa Myers, thank you very much.